we finally have it. I'm talking about an Elementor form trigger for Pixel Your Site events. It means that you can now create an event that fires when such a form is successfully submitted. Before that, it was possible to configure events fired when the send button was clicked. But if the form was not sent successfully, the event was fired anyway. So now we have an integration with Elementor that will fire events for Meta, for Google Analytics, for TikTok, for Pinterest, soon for Google Tag Manager. So we'll fire events when such a form, such an Elementor form is actually submitted and the data is captured. Um, and I will show you how it works. I will show you how you can um, select a particular form from Elementor. Uh, you can even capture forms from um, pop-ups and I will show you this as well in this video. Uh, this is a new trigger. It's part of Pixel Your Site Professional. If you don't see it, update the plugin. And uh, if Elementor is detected, this trigger will be available. How does it work? First of all, we need to find the form. In order to do so, I will copy this page URL where I have two forms from Elementor. And uh, I will create, this is another form plugin that we support, but I don't want to show it right now. So I will open Pixel Your Site Professional, go to events. I will create a new event, Elementor form. Elementor form one, uh, and I will select the Elementor form trigger. Now I have to add here the URL and scan. The plugin will search for forms on this particular page and it detects two forms. I don't have a um, clear name. This is the name from Elementor. In my case, I have the same name is the default name. And I also have um, an ID, which is the forms ID. Let's see which one has this ID. You should. It should not be necessary for you to, to do this step if you have the same form or if the form has a particular name in Elementor. But in my case, I have two forms on the same page. So I want to see which one is the first form, form ID. So the first form is this one, 35C. Okay, yeah, the first one. Now I, um, I can select multiple forms for my event, but I will select only one form. And all I have to do next is to configure the event for one of the tags installed with Pixel Your Site. I will configure this event for Meta, I will use the same name. It will be a custom event. And uh, that's it. Oh, I have another option here. I can disable the default form event. Uh, Pixel Your Site fires a form event for every form on the website. So I can disable that default event and keep only mine for this particular form, or I can, um, let that event to fire as well. Let's disable it. And uh, that's it for now. I will save the event. Let's test it. Refresh the page to have the latest version of the code. And now I will send the form. form is successfully submitted and I have my event right here. As you can see, we add automatically a number of parameters to the form, to the form event, like uh, the day, the hour, uh, the event URL, landing page, page title, post ID, traffic source, and uh, 
the user role my user role in this case i'm an admin so that's um, how easy it is to configure an event for an elementor form i send it to facebook but you can send it for example to google analytics and measure uh, interactions successfully submitted uh, forms uh, for on google analytics now i want to do something else i have a, a pop-up configure on my um, home page again done with elementor and in this pop-up i have this form so i want to capture this form and the process is exactly the same i will copy the page one of the pages where this pop-up um, is displayed i will create a new event add new Elementor pop-up, select the same trigger, and now this is the home page where I have this pop-up, scan for forms, and uh, the pop-up form is detected. In this case, when I created the form inside Elementor, I use this uh, relevant name, so it's easy for me to see that this is the pop-up form. The, the rest of the process is the same. So I select the form, I configure the event for one of the tags, save, and that's it. I don't want to show you uh, the same thing again. It's very simple and straightforward. Uh, this is it. You can easily now configure events for Elementor forms with Pixel Your Site. And instead of measuring uh, button clicks, you can measure more precisely uh, form submission. That's it. Again, update uh, Pixel Site Professional to get uh, this new trigger and uh, like the video, share to our channel. No, share the video, sorry, and subscribe to our channel. That's right. The wording. Okay. I um, hope you liked it. We plan to add more triggers like this one. We already have a number of um, integration with form plugins. If you have another suggestion for us and we can do it, let me know and um, we will try to implement those triggers as well. So that, that trigger as well. Um, that's it. I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Site. Thank you for watching. See you next time.